My name's Ron. You're on one of Ronnie's road trips. We're at Sweets, Strawberry Runners, Strawberry Farm, and they're in the top three distributors of Strawberry Runners in Australia. There's only three, so that's why I know they're in the top three. But irrespective of that, we're gonna run through his farm. Phil's with us today. We're gonna run through it, have a look at some of the old gear, a bit of the operation, some of the uh, ag gear that he's got, dozer scrapers, all retired from Earth Movement, back on the farm again. Come with us. This is the first of our series that we got on the farm down here. We're gonna have a few, be interesting little run. Come on, we're gonna have a look at this. Money make an end, or well, part of it anyway. 33 yard bowl here, mate, when she's chockers. Uh, there's the elevators and the flights. This is where it's gonna cost you dollars. As you'd expect when you've um, got an old machine, 70 model, and she's back on the farm again. All worn, pretty well, badly worn. To see the uh, chains are fully stretched. Um, Phil was saying you've got a few little issues here, but as with Cat, I keep telling you, they're built to be rebuilt. You go and buy parts anywhere you want from any good bloody Cat dealer. You'll be able to renew anything you want on here. But as typical on a farm, it's as and when required. You're not going to go and do the whole bowl up just to do a few yards around town here and uh, knock in another quick dam. Cat, you've got to love it. Check out the tyres. You get a crook operator on these, it's going to cost you a hell of a lot of money. Now, Phil was saying these are, these are a, a 33 by 35 tyre, and only buy second hand out here because that's all you need. It's still going to pay eight grand. Now, you've got four of these tyres, they're all the same size, which is the right way to go. But it costs you big money if you've got a donkey operator on it, they don't last long. Pretty dangerous in here, so no work zone, especially when that engine's running, stay right away. Do you know that when you sort of, when you turn hard right, full lock, full left, full lock, you've got 90 degree turn on these, these will turn on sixpence. And it's the beauty of these scrapers, you get them into that predicament, bang, turn them sixpence, five cents for you young blokes, but that's how much you can turn them on. Well, the beauty of it out here, especially when you've got a big farm like this, is that you have to have a full workshop facility, boiler makers working for you, full on diesel mechanics fitters. You see up here on the yoke, the boys are saying that they've had to replate it, just got a couple of little crazy cracks through it, preventative maintenance, check it over all the time, nice little neat job, keep it going again for another 10,000 hours. In its day, so we're going back to the late 60s, this was state of the art engine, you know, D343 turbo, after cooled diesel engine here, honestly this has got to be one of the best engines a cat ever produced in that era and was continued in in so many other models of machinery right throughout that era. A brilliant, brilliant engine. Cost a few bob if you've got to rebuild it, as Phil told me, but like, if you're talking something that's 40 years old, you know, as I said, they're meant to be rebuilt. Bloody beauty. Well, any of you old guys would certainly appreciate where I've got me bum sit this afternoon. Check this out. Seat, as with all scrapers, slightly turned. The reason is so that you don't bugger your back and your neck completely. It's just a nice little angle so you can flick your head over the right hand side and check your feed into your bowl. Now over here we've got eight speed power tip, bang bang, eight speed in that, absolutely perfect. Diff lock on the floor, throttle brake, good set of cat gauges sitting out here in front of you. Although they're pretty dirty, it'd be hard to see them, but a bit of a scrub up with a rag and you're sorted there. Over here we've got the three lever, main levers that's what you're after and really easy because once you're in the scraper and believe me when you're up there you think you're in a bloody boat going over Bass Strait. She'll float, coast around, swing you out, don't fall out the cab, that's why you've got a seatbelt. Over here this is your bowl, up and down. When you want the bowl open and shut this will push your ram straight out of the back and discharge. Shut it, open up, like the way you go. Honestly, a little bit of getting used to. But when you get in it, there are blokes that have been on them since they're 17 and they're 70 and they wouldn't get on anything else. To me, I'd rather have an excavator any day, but horses for courses. Well, there you have it. I'll tell you what, in their day, these rewrote the Earth Moving Construction Handbook. You had Latornia, of course you had Buddy Wabco, you had International, um, Euclid. But these, when these come out, totally rewrote it. I love them. The, uh, you see a fleet of these in action, even with the open bowls or the twin power scrapers, you see half a dozen of these running. If you want to move dirt, this is the way to do it. Cat, again, I say it time and time again, purely because your service is so darn good and you can buy parts right back to these, the 70. But we've got another one coming up shortly. 
when you're on these, just like you are on some of that new cat gear as well, I love it. And I hate to say it, because they don't pay me for this. But I'll tell you what, when you're on them, you feel so bloody good. Especially these old girls. Hope you enjoyed it. We've got more coming up for you later.